Hey guys, Tom Boy 601 and today we're out in the Fantasque. We're testing out the new changes to the French Destroyer line. If you're not aware, a good chunk of them just kind of got buffs. Torpedoes got slight reductions in damage pretty much, but usually might have gotten a boost in speed or better detectability. Cool. And then uh, they pretty much universally got extra gun damage and an extra charge to their main battery reload booster. And you may be looking down and saying, Tommy, but before, Le Fantastic only had one. How do you have three? And that's right. That brings us to the commander we are running, because I know I'm sure the one that you are familiar with that you'll see a lot of people running is Avenue. Today, we are actually running uh, Du Fournette. He's the general purpose uh, destroyer commander, or the general purpose captain commander for the French line. So he has a mix of a couple of skills, but we've built him to be a destroyer commander. We've done that a couple ways. One, uh, his base rate's gonna boost the damage of our HE shells. Sick, we've already got boosted HE shell damage. Let's boost it even more. Our two inspirations we are running are gonna be Bay and Sims. Sims to get that more health that you're gonna need if you're gonna wanna treat these like a gunboat like they are now, and Bay to help with the concealment, because as you can see, we still have what I would call respectable concealment for a destroyer. Then uh, going down his skills, we have Burnt Down XXL, boosting the fire chance to 12%, making it uh, a fairly good way to guarantee a fire when you pop that main battery reload booster. Then we have Look At Me Now, which is gonna uh, reduce our detectability. We have Velocious, which is gonna boost our maximum speed, which we already have a pretty good maximum speed because we're a French destroyer. And we have the special French engine boost, and we have three charges of that. Then we have Steer Clear. And then finally, the thing that makes this uh, build a little interesting is we have Fully Packed. Fully Packed's gonna give us an extra consumable charge. That's why we have three, uh, we have three prop boosts. We have three main battery reload boosters. And you're like, sweet, awesome. There is one huge downside to this play, uh, to this play style, to this build. And that is the fact that in our legendary slot, we are not running Unstoppable. Now you may be asking Tommy, what does Unstoppable do? And it does, there's a couple of things. Um, it's stated effect is it reduces damage control party cooldown when you're within a certain radius of, of your friends and it uh, reduces your engine repair time. But it then has an other stated effect which is you maintain maneuverability when your engine gets knocked out. And well, that means if your engine gets knocked out in Le Fantasque, you got your one, you got your one repair party, but if, if your engine gets knocked again, which it absolutely can, you're gonna be in a world of hurt. You don't gotta smoke to get out of there. You kind of rely on your speed. So if your engine goes, you are going to be up a large creek and there is going to be no paddle. Side tangent, I've never really understood that because I feel like you'd always want to be up the creek. That way you could go down the creek as opposed to having to walk up the creek or try to paddle up the creek when you didn't have any paddle. Anyways, so that is the kind of risk reward we have here. So what does that do? Well, it lay, it lets Lay Fantastic play in a fun kind of way. Uh, you can see we're kind of trying to be a little cautious here. We don't want to overcommit because we do see that there are two to three destroyers and two battleships out in the main area, but we still have the good firing arts of the arcs of the French. So what that means is we can go ahead and just try to get some fire started here and there. You see, we've already on a couple of fires on Vladdy. We've gotten a, a fire or two. We've gotten three fires total, which is not too bad, especially because we have to remember both Vlad and Prince Heinrich over there have a limited number of damage control parties. So if we can force them to bleed through them, that will be uh, immensely beneficial to us. So we're gonna kind of use our friendly smoke screens and uh, try to get some more damage in here, playing a little cautiously, because once again, three destroyers out there, we've seen a kid, um, we've seen a black, and I, I think we've seen, um, yeah, Blaskawa, Blaskawicza, or whatever you wanna call it, the friend, the, the, the Polish one. So we don't exactly want to go guns blazing into there. We do have the I win button, the main battery reload booster, and we will get to show that off. But right now, our uh, our priority is just trying to make sure that these boats are done. You saw we already did get the cap. Uh, we are starting to get fire from over on the seaside. And uh, as far as the game goes, we are currently down. So we're going to have to make some things happen. We can see 
the wolf pack of destroyers that has made its way out onto this corner uh, that we will find ourselves having to deal with. And uh, we've also had this carrier somewhat in the area, making it so that we can't really hide behind cover to do to fire things. We have uh, this kid kind of exposed here. We're going to go ahead and pop our first main battery reload booster, see if we can get some damage into him. And as you can see, those shells, uh, when they land, can do some pretty significant damage. Now that he's going to cover, we might as well use this opportunity, dump some torps at Heinrich, uh, and try to start getting him to melt down as he is getting lower and lower on health. We want to try to stick to his nose just, just because Heinrich, he's going to have what we can call very effective secondary uh, weapons. We can see we're within his secondary battery range, but if we can stay off of his nose, uh, those secondary batteries aren't really going to be able to engage us. Um, and he's kind of locked in a duel with one of our friendly battleships. So we want to try to kind of either force him to try to turn out to engage us, which is going to give him a left pr less preferential uh, angle, or he can just stay there. And luckily, one of the torps was true, and we can go ahead and finish him off. Awesome. Excellent. Cool. What do we have to do now? Well, we have to handle the remainder of the two destroyers who we know are over here. Speaking of which, there's Kid, the king of the tier six, uh, D uh, the tier six gunboat DDs. We're going to try to get some rounds into him and get our head turned around here, all of our guns, because we do have, I'm not going to say great turret traverse times. So we're going to try to get a couple more rounds into him, but we're also just kind of biding our time because we know we're going to have to take this engagement. Um, and we know that there's two destroyers over here, but we still have a significant amount of time until uh, that main battery reload booster is any good. So uh, there's some more torps right there that really tells us that that Bliskovica is over here 50 seconds until uh, until it's good. Kind of poking our nose out here. We got 40 seconds until we can get anything done. Both the destroyers are here. Let's see how Le Fantasque, the new gunboat version of it, stands up to these guys right here. Couple salvos into the kid, and this is exactly what we want to do. We're gonna concentrate down the kid. He's going to be the bigger gunboat threat. We're also angling our way out, making ourselves a little bit harder of a target, but also going into the range that our guns are going to be more effective. Remember, American guns floaty. Uh, we have those great firing arcs, so we want to get at range right here, put his shells at the disadvantage. Additionally, we did get our engine knocked right there, so we're going to pop our damage control party. Hope that we don't get knocked again. Kids realizing he's losing this duel. He's going to go ahead and pop his smoke slow on down. We got to keep our eyes on where he is because we are going to need all of these rounds to land. Once we get him down, which we do right there, we're gonna switch right on over to the Bliskovicha, pop that main battery reload booster and watch what we do in this limited amount of time. Now the main battery reload booster did also get a buff itself. Not only do we have more charges of it, but we also have five additional seconds of it. And you can see we are just melting through this enemy destroyer right here. We've gotten one fire. Uh, he's already damaged control partied it. And uh, we get this one last set of rounds off right there. And, uh, well, he looks like he's got another fire. I don't know if it's by us, but he's going to start slowly ticking down. And, uh, well, we've attracted the, the the ire of the carrier, and that makes sense. We are quickly approaching his position, so we dodge that set of torpedoes right here. Line up with the Lexington, and uh, unfortunately, I thought Lexington was all done. I thought we didn't have to worry about him anymore. We kind of turn, getting ready to take on Bliskovica. It turns out there is one extra torpedo and we're gonna eat uh, We're gonna eat the torp from him and we're gonna have to damage control party it or else we're just not gonna live. So uh, now the game is simple. Put as many rounds into Lexington as physically possible uh, and try to get within torp range. So here we go. We can see he has his, uh, his dive bombers up which can be dangerous for us, right? Uh, even if they don't hit us, they can do that. They have the splash damage. They can knock our engine. They can uh, knock out the torpedo launcher, and that's exactly what they've done. So we have one set of torpedoes in, uh, and we are going to slow down to a crawl until 13 seconds. So if he can get around, he's going to have what can only be said as a super easy run on us. Um, here he comes, and down we go. Now, uh, fortunately, those torpedoes do end up, at least one of them ends up hitting, so we get a little bit 
more damage overall. But that's going to be the end of our game as far as how these buffs are performing. I really like this little change that they've given to the French Destroyers. I think it makes them competitive. They're definitely not overpowered. Um, they're still fairly strong torp boats. Um, they still now they now still hold kind of a hybrid role, which I think is a bit weird. Um, I think that's partially due to um, if you don't run do Fournet, you run someone with like go all out. You still have ridiculous concealment in them when when running that. That can be um, you know just a little bit uh, strange. So I think because of that, and also I don't think they really have like a true big gunboat commander. It doesn't feel like I feel like do Fournet's the best we can do really. Um, so until they get all of that done, I don't know if these are true gunboats, but they're definitely more in the hybrid and they definitely don't feel as neglected as they once did. I think the main battery reload booster change huge for them. And, uh, that's, that's really good. But anyways, guys, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.